you know, if there was something um, both cynical and foolish at the same time, is exactly this phrase taking America back. And I always ask my so called Republican friends <laughs> back to what? Uh, you know, a quick look at the um, tenure of President Bush that ended four years ago. Uh, here we were engaged in two wars Iraq and Afghanistan. We basically handed Iraq on a golden platter to Iran. So, so here you, you know, had an economy that is, was on the verge of collapse. Um, um, you know, the, we have never experienced any such a thing since the Great Depression. And then, of course, you have nearly uh, 40 million American and uninsured have no health care whatsoever. They, of course, the deteriorating, extremely deteriorating um, educational schools are basically all crumbling. Uh, infrastructure is in, in bad disrepair. And of course, you know, the Americans' influence in the world has pretty much been damaged and, and, and considerably um, undermined. So, so I ask these Republicans, you know, do you really want to take back America to that, these kind of conditions? And when you look carefully at the Republican platform uh, and the speeches you heard throughout the convention, you did not hear one single uh, speaker, uh, specifically um, Romney himself, who suggested any plan of action that is economic uh, plan or a political uh, or a foreign policy issues or, or domestic policy that will repair the economy, that will in fact uh, do something about school. But everything is we heard actually we could conceivably make things even worse than it is today. Uh, I am. I wanted to know. I'm not either Republican or a Democrat. I have voted for a Republican president. I voted also for a Democratic president. Uh, for me, so for me is, uh, is the issues. How do you solve these problems? And what we heard from the Democratic Party at this juncture, at least there's some substance. We've seen Bar Barack Obama for four years. We have seen some of the things that he accomplished. He may not have accomplished everything we would have liked to have him accomplish, but he has done a great deal. He saved the automobile um, industry. He and, uh, signed the probably historic legislation providing health care for millions and millions of Americans, restoring job and dignity to many Americans who have lost their job, uh, saved the housing from utter complete collapse. So he's done many things. But certainly, the, he can do more and should be doing more. And I think under his leadership in the next four years, America will be considerably better off than t allowing it to be taken back to the uh, misery and disdain of the Bush administration. It's not the danger in the language. It's the danger in the execution of policies that makes no sense. Uh, when you talk about reforming social security and taking money actually from the poor and giving it to the rich, this is not a policy. When you're talking about undoing the health care, and what do, you, what do you substitute it for? When you talk about reducing the national debt, by what means if you do not raise taxes? So there is inherent contradiction in these statements, in this, in this language which and the Republicans simply will not be able to deliver. But of course, you know, we, we understand this is the polit political seasons, and uh, candidates can afford to say all they want to say. And when they come to, to office and they face the reality, the bitter reality, I should say, they may change their position, and many of them do change because they don't have any choice. As President Obama said Thursday night, he said, uh, I am not a candidate, uh, you know, seeking the presidency. I am the president. I have faced it all before. And I know what it's going to take in order to repair what's left to be done uh, from the uh, terrible eight years. And although he did not say that, but the implication was uh, clear. Uh, inheriting what he has inherited from the Bush, uh, from the Bush administration. And, and I think what he has done is different, d certainly uh, significant, but I think still the, ro the road is still long, and uh, we have we have much to go still.